Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at photos on the iPad. So let's go ahead and touch photos and it opens up. Now we're in a simple view of photos. We have photos up at the top here. Now it may be a little bit difficult to see, uh, but there you have it. We have photos, albums, events, and faces. Now faces will only work if you have iPhoto on a Mac. So if you have Windows, unfortunately you're not going to get that benefit, uh, but you will, will get all the rest of them. So let me go ahead and show you the different layouts. Photos, albums, events, and faces. There's myself. I took all the other pictures off of here uh, just to kind of show you how this works. But using iPhoto, I went in, selected my face, it went and scanned all the pictures and said, is this you? And I said yes. So as you've seen in many of the previews, if I want to take a look what's in this album of faces, I simply put two fingers on and spread them apart a little bit. The more I spread, uh, I can go as wide as the screen or as wide as my fingers will allow and bring them back or out and it will just stick. If I want to bring them back, I simply pinch back. Out and back. So if I bring them out like that, pinch them back, bring them out quickly. And what this did is again it scanned my face for this and um, let's go ahead and see if I can find any any pictures of me. But um, there I'm at the Smithsonian. Uh, you can you can just go through these one by one that way. Uh, let's go back to faces. So that's uh, the faces portion of of uh, the photos part. If I want to turn this landscape mode, I can do that. If I want to turn it back, I do that. Whichever way you prefer, you can tilt this. Let's go back to photos, and here's all of the photos. And again, we just swipe if we want to see them. It goes very fast. If I go fast, if it goes, if I want to go slow. I go slow. Uh, that's really all there is to it. <clears throat> if I open the picture of this new uh, Bugatti concept car, it will come up. I can zoom in by pinching in or zoom out if I want to. If I want to see this in landscape the way the picture was meant to be seen, I simply tilt. If I want to bring it full screen, I double tap. If I want to go back, I double tap. See this? Bring it in. Double tap brings it out. If I tap again, it brings up a scrubber on the bottom where I can easily go through all of my photos simply by dragging. Uh, there's some cars uh, I just grabbed to show you some pictures. I can scrub through those. If I want to go back to all of my photos, I can pinch. You can get back a lot of the time with just pinching. Here I'll go to my albums. I have saved photos, something my daughter drew in cars, or in uh, a drawing program. And I can tap to bring them in, pinch to bring them back. If I tap, it pulls them back out and splits them. This was just a screen capture of the iPad. And it bring that off. And I can swipe. Just like in your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or anything else. If I pinch, it goes back. If I pinch again, it goes back to albums. If I go into the cars, let's take a peek into that. We have all the cars. Yep, I want that. We let go. And we have the cars. I tap, brings it forward. And I can simply swipe and go through them. Very nice, very quick. If I want to zoom, take a look at something a little closer, I can do that. Zoom back out. I can do it quick. It responds very quickly, very, very uh, instantaneously. Uh, there's not a whole lot more to show you. We can scrub individually by this. Um, and here's one of the nice little things. So we'll go back. I think we covered everything. Oh, events. So these are different events that I had in, in uh, iPhoto and I imported. So you can see we have the Aston Martin DBS, uh, the Bugatti Galibier. Uh, we go like this. It brings this event out, pinch back, brings it back in. Again, very, uh, very easy interface very similar to uh, everything else within the photo program and again we have all the different selections so let's go into cars let's pick uh, this new McLaren now if I want to send this or do something with this we hit this little icon up here let's see if we can bring this in we hit this icon and now we have email photo send to mobile me use as wallpaper or copy the photo um, let's go ahead and and uh, just go, we can kind of just assume you know what this means and we'll, we'll get off of that. Uh, so 
very easy to send the photo of something you like, some new photo you have in here. Send it off, email it, again, mobile me, uh, use it as your wallpaper, or copy it. And the reason you would copy it is maybe you want to post it in, uh, post it somewhere um, in, in something you're doing, or there's, there's a couple different uses, not a huge case use for that yet. Now, one of the nice things about this is it is a huge digital photo frame uh, when you're not using it. So if we hit slideshow, we've got different options. We can play music with the slideshow. We hit the music tab, and it brings up all our albums in a, like a simple little iPod or iPhone screen. If I bring this in here, artists, songs, albums, more, different things. Uh, that's just for music. We also have transitions, and we have cube, dissolve, ripple, wipe, and origami. Let's pick origami and start the slideshow. And there we go. Beautiful pictures, and it will do some really nice transitions. We'll wait for it. We'll play music uh, while it's going through this. And it just unfolds, and that's why they call it origami. We can take a look at um, maybe another transition. Let's take a look at... I guess cube, which is, most of these are pretty self-explanatory, but let's take a look at them anyway. Uh, there you go, there's the, the Bugatti. And again, it just turns, and that's, that's really all it is. Very nice, uh, looks really nice, and again, we can play music with that. Um, due to copyright things, I'm not going to play that right now, but just thought I'd show you that. Um, also, that's pretty much it for photos, but also, if you shut this off, Say you've got it in your dock. Tilt it upright. It's sitting in the dock like this. If we hit the power button, we have the screen show or the slideshow option here. We hit that, it automatically goes into the slideshow. And it stays in the dock and presents your photos really, really nicely. So that's really about it. It will pull from the events, make it pretty uniform, uh, and look really nice. So that's photos on the iPad. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next.